Thanks to you, Commander. The Soviet Union is no more. Their failed philosophy is where it belongs, in the dustbin of history. My son, I am proud of you. Thank you, Father. You have destroyed their time machine and restored the inevitability of our destiny. Actually, Father, I believe that we have made our own destiny. Perhaps the truth lies somewhere in between. For you are the direct descendant of Emperor Jimmu, the spiritual luminary of the samurai, Master Bushido, the way of the warrior. A man must have a code to follow. Indeed, my son. Will you join me, father? Will you help me defeat our enemies? It would be an honor. Commander, it is now time to vanquish all who would oppose the Empire of the Rising Sun. Our time has come, Commander. We have surrounded Amsterdam by sea, and you must lead the attack by destroying the Allies. Their headquarters must be taken out, as well as their source of weapons technology, the Future Tech Research Center. They will attempt to defend the location and will fight to their last man. Lead us to victory, Commander. The city crawls with the lowly. We shall put these sad creatures to the sword. Welcome back to Command Conquer Red Alert 3 and welcome to the final Imperial mission. And this time we're going to get some post commentary because for some reason OBS decided not to record my microphone audio when I played this. this quickly and bringing this war to an end. It is my honor to serve at your side. You're welcome, Shinzo. Is it time for so the way you're supposed to do this is take out these bases, build your base, take out the Allied Air Base and then make your way to the Future Tech HQ which is apparently under Soviet control, but we'll, we we'll see about that. We will base destroyed before we can use our own aerial weaponry. Good luck and may honor find you. Thank you. We're not actually going to do that because it's not really necessary. So here is our base, our mobile base, which we don't need now. I did order Shinzo to get over the... Yeah, if, if it's such a good plan, then why aren't you moving? Oh well. So let's just move over here and try do, do a ba base trade with Shinzo, even though we are not, not even enemies. Yeah, Shinzo is still not moving. I think he just waits until... He has the rest of his forces ready to go, but that could just be me. Excellent. In any case. If speed is of the utmost importance, then why aren't you moving, Shinzo? He's actually going to move soon, yeah, there we go. The reason why I'm doing this is because Shinzo's long-range battleships will take out all those Spectrum Towers. Always, I'm always tempted to call them Prism Towers, because that's essentially what they are, but never mind. Yeah, the, yeah, Einstein named them Prism Towers, but Einstein is no longer around, so Future Tech named them Spectrum Towers, even though it's exactly the same thing. So it's almost as if that had no effect. Then again, the Soviets were slightly more successful in their conquest of Europe, even though they didn't invade North America. And they... Did you just accidentally attack that all there? Anyway, they also didn't... They didn't really lose any of the technical technological edge. But then again, the Allies are the shiny and chrome high-tech factor, so you don't really want to change that too much because the Soviets are already the heavy... the heavy... I wouldn't say low-tech faction, but their stuff is... It's like heavier, bulkier, it's more industrial, that's kind of their style. So let's just destroy these towers here, which is not a problem because these guys here, they outrange these towers by a long shot. And once those are gone, we can just move in and destroy the HQ. Would you like me to go after the super weapons? I am ready for the order. Thanks for the offer, but it's not really necessary. But you should probably do that when when you do this the regular way. Well, there we go. I've got something better than that. Psycho Commando is really all you need here. Don't come any closer. I need more time with the Chronosphere prototype. I won't hesitate to unleash catastrophe upon you.
This red light district pales in comparison to Nakasu. <laughs> They tried to destroy Japan has better, better but the empire of the rising sun still stands. Finish them once and for all. The future tech research center must be razed to the ground. Commander, yep. you must push this is forward. not that difficult. I am giving you my most honored elite warriors. Use them to secure this victory. Yeah, even if you don't want to empire, just circumvent these Commander, troops here. You must win. Make us proud. Okay, stop talking. Serve your emperor. Our ally is okay, time. enough. Thank you. So, even if you don't want to do it this way, you can just use your your powers. And you can also just take out their flag troopers after that, their sitting ducks. No, 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 no! You are a mistake! My mistake! Ooh, calm down. And Chrono Explosion. Thank you, Commander. You have honored your ancestors and defeated our enemies. Because of your victories, I bestow upon you the honored title of Supreme Shogun. Commander, I'm on the north shore of Oahu. Very beautiful, very private. How would you like to join me? Come on, Commander. Everyone needs to relax now and then, even a shogun. Well, it looks like saving Hawaii was worth it. By the way, the Hawaii mission is still the hardest in the campaign, in my opinion. But anyway, this this wasn't so difficult. Even if you do it the regular way, it's not that hard. You can have Shinzo take out the super weapon together with with your own super weapon, so that will always destroy any building. So that's not too difficult, and you can destroy the Allied airbase with relative ease with Yuriko support with some artillery. And once you've done that, the Allies have very little to actually stop you. And if you just build, let's say, eight to ten artillery pieces. And just plow your way through then you're generally good so it's uh, less challenging than the final Allied and soviet missions in my opinion but th the japanese campaign is still the hardest altogether but yeah generally it's not too bad that's it from me thanks for watching and i shall see you next time in a different video take care goodbye